the woods seems easy enough. Animals do it all the time. But there's more to it than just stopping and squatting. In this video, we're gonna learn all the things you need to know about how to poop in the woods. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Hofs, longtime Yukoner and lover of the extended outdoor camping trip. I've talked in a few of these videos about different ways to prepare for that kind of trek, but the one thing I haven't touched on just yet is how to handle yourself in a backcountry bathroom. All right, so we all know, everybody poops. But if you're here exploring the beauty of the Yukon, there's a few things you must know in order to poop safely and respectfully in a way that leaves no trace. For starters, if you're taking a lesson from any animal, don't let it be a dog. You wanna take care of business like a cat. Begin by digging a small hole, also referred to as a cat hole, six to eight inches deep with a rock, stick, spade, trowel, whatever you can to just get some soil up and make a small cat hole. There are plenty of outdoor stores in the Yukon that sell spades and trowels if you wanna pick one up when you're here. Make sure your cat hole is at least 200 feet from sources of water, your campsite, any trails, and out of view and scent Ew. of your fellow campers. You can search for soft soil, but soil in the north is generally thin and coarse, which is why it's also a good idea to find some rocks to help cover over your cat hole. Sometimes you just can't find soil deep enough to dig down six inches. Going on a ridge top or a south facing slope will help speed up decomposition. And if you're camping with a group, you can build a common latrine, filling it from one side and covering it over with dirt after each use. You can also just use different locations each time and just communicate with your fellow campers where you've been. Once you've got all that figured out, it's time to consider what might be the most hotly contested topic when it comes to this issue, your stance. The classic move is to squat, keeping the weight in your heels as you drop straight down to the ground over your cat hole. If balance is an issue, you can look for a tree on a hill, steady yourself and lean back against it as though it were a wall. And alternatively, you can find a tree on level ground and just hold it as you sit back and away from it. Both of these options get gravity working for you. And finally, if you just straight up don't trust yourself to stand or squat in the proper position for the duration of a whole poop, look for a stump or a fallen log and they can act as a modified toilet. This requires a bit more aim, you still have to dig your cat hole and then maneuver your butt over it from a greater height. But it is the closest thing to a real bathroom. Almost like home. Whichever way you choose to poop, afterwards, be sure to cover your cat hole with dirt and rocks so no animals dig it up. I have seen dogs do this and it is awful. Basically, you just want it to look like you were never there. Always pack out your TP, even your used TP, in a plastic bag and then clean your hands with sanitizer afterwards. I know that this sounds kind of gross, but it is actually what respectful backcountry folks do. You don't wanna leave your waste for anybody else to come across. Following these steps, or squats to be more accurate, will keep you from contaminating water sources, your hands, and your own sight. Speaking of sites, head over to TravelYukon.com for more information on how to get the most out of your Yukon adventures. I've also added a poop bag pack list below in the comments, so you've got your checklist ready to go before you go. Get it? As always, we hope you found this video helpful in planning your adventures, and we'll see you out there exploring the Yukon. Bye.